My name is Alfonso Cardona and I am Navantia's System Commercial Director. I will introduce you today the System Division and we talk about our manned surface vehicle problems. The system's division routes lie in the artillery workshops of the naval arsenal de la Carraca, that in the mid-50s of the 20th century became the Basal's artillery factory, also well known for its Spanish acronym FABA. And nowadays is the center of excellence in Navantia for the development and integration of high technology complex systems. With more than 650,000 man hours per year, in the system division we develop manufacture and support during the whole life cycle added value products for both the naval and land domains. Being the most relevant, our naval combat management system line is combat is, our integrated platform management system, the Hermesis Navcoms, naval guns and unmanned turret for combat vehicles, the Dorna family of fire control systems, and the third family of land surveillance and reconnaissance systems. And last but not least, our Navantis advanced simulation and training environment for all our products. I will focus today on one of our latest product lines, the Viento family of unmanned surface vehicles. First of all, we think that USB's first applications will come from the well-known 3Ds of the robotics. This is the dual, dangerous and dirty jobs. Also, we foresee USB's not only as remotely controlled or even unmanned naval platforms, but as autonomous mission systems, probably being UXV mother chips for many applications and that will work in swarms or coordinated with other man platforms and fully integrated with common and control systems. With this in mind, Viento is a family of advanced surface vehicles designed to fulfill three main groups of mission types. Critical infrastructure surveillance and protection environmental control and oceanographic, and defense and security. Regarding critical infrastructure missions, a direct application is hardware and offshore platform surveillance and protection. But also we can think of other applications like support for these infrastructures operations and maintenance tasks, and search and rescue or even maritime disasters. This uh, will also be related with environmental control and oceanographic missions, where we think on detection and fighting oil spills, and also uh, water quality control, marine cartography, etc. Finally, regarding defense and homeland security, we think that applications will be related with providing support in the fight against illegal immigration, drug trafficking, terrorism, illegal fishing, and so on. Also, there is interest in different navies to explore applications, mainly related with mine warfare, disease mine hunting and mine sweeping missions. Regarding the capacities of the Viento product line, the mission I have mentioned before 
are supported by the following Viento modes of operation. Manned, remote control, by waypoints or fully autonomous. With automatic return to home, docking and undocking, and also the capability of being an operation platform to deploy other unmanned aerial or even underwater vehicles. As I said in the introduction, we understand USBs as autonomous mission systems. This is system of systems. The Viento USBs integrate different state-of-the-art systems, like command and control, this is mission planning and execution, sensors and effector control. Also integration with external command and control systems and remote control of sensors and effectors and remote video management. Communication systems, navigation systems, it is important the obstacle detection and collision and the obstacle avoidance system, following call recs. Also, it integrates the platform management system with dynamic position capabilities. So, the modes of operation and US missions is performed through integrated surveillance system layout, radar, AAS, sonar, lidar, visual and infrared cameras, 360 degrees cameras, integrated mission specific sensors and effector, fluorimeters, weapons, non lethal weapons like water cannons, and so on and integrated with ashore or mothership's command and control systems. Finally, I would like to say that this is a ready-to-go solution. Viento is a proven in-service system, modular and adaptable and versatile solution for different missions like naval support, hydrographic and oceanographic solutions, and high-value infrastructures protection and management. It has additional benefits as a low-cost multiplier, as it needs reduced human resources and so has very low running cost and eliminates human risk exposure or errors. I would like to finish saying that the first unit entered service in the port of Ceuta last year, bearing the name Vendaval, a Spanish word for the strong vientos of the area. It is integrated in a complete port environmental control and surveillance system that provides operational and environmental control as well as surveillance of the waters surrounding the port docks. Thank you very much for your attention and now we will be pleased to answer any questions.